Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, and this is Taurus energy. So this is a very spiritual energy. This is an energy of lessons, learning something, and progression as well. There's an energy here of commitments with this card as well. Someone feels a strong spiritual connection to you as well. You have this person's loyalty with this energy. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Sun card, Leo energy. The King of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Eight of Cups, Water Energy. So there is an energy of you may have felt like you freed yourself from someone. With the Eight of Cups, this is showing someone who has walked away from a situation that they believe is no longer serving them. Um, they've invested in the situation emotionally, um, you know, in terms of time, energy, but something about the situation wasn't giving back. And it's like moving away from something so that you can go find your fulfillment elsewhere. And there is an energy of moving on, leaving something behind, but you are moving towards the sun. Um, there is some someone here who's coming into your life who is better than what you've left behind. Um, there is an energy of someone who's showing up as... Um, you know, very confident, self-assured, this King of Wands kind of energy. Someone who is very, um, I'm seeing someone who's actually able to really match your energy with that King of Wands energy. Um, this is someone who's charismatic and bold and self-assured, but they are also capable of commitment because you have the Hierophant there. There's someone here who has a lot of depth to them. Um, they're a very spiritual person. And something about this person is like connecting with them will kind of open your heart. Because you have that sun energy, which is an energy of healing the inner child. It's an energy of really feeling energized um, and, you know, feeling like you can be yourself, like someone sees you for who you are and they accept you for who you are. And this is a loyal person I'm seeing here with the hearth and being there. So there's definitely an energy of moving towards what you deserve in love. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is, again, an energy of feeling self-sufficient, having that self-love energy. And we also had that Eight of Cups, which is a very self-respecting, dignified energy. There is a, a, an energy here that you've learned a lesson. There's some sort of lesson that was supposed to come out of a situation. Um, it's a lesson teaching you to choose yourself. There's an energy of you learned a lesson and you are showing that by leaving behind something that isn't serving you there's an energy of choosing self-love and this is leading you to real love and fulfillment so that hierophant energy that energy of a spiritual lesson that's being learned it's showing up as you having learned that lesson and freeing yourself from a situation that um, wasn't reflecting you um, there's an energy of you stepping into this nine of pentacles energy and while you're in this nine of pentacles energy you are calling in a real soulmate you're calling in your king of wands here regardless of the gender of course this is an energy of someone who is um generous someone who is a, a leader someone who you know is confident and bold so th that's what i'm seeing with that king of wands energy so let's see okay we have the ten of cups water energy the six of cups in the reverse water energy and the ace of pentacles 
earth energy. So the six of cups in the reverse shows moving on from the past, leaving something behind, something that wasn't working. There's an energy of choosing to let it go, accepting something for what it is and recognizing that you deserve better and you are attracting better. The ace of pentacles is a new beginning, a new prosperous beginning that can lead to an abundant, long-term, stable, committed relationship. And we have the ten of cups, which is really a very happy energy in relationship readings. That is emotional fulfillment that is someone who you can have a family with someone who you can spend the rest of your life with and there is a, even an energy of attracting someone who you could actually end up marrying with the hierophant being here someone whose marriage material a soulmate connection is coming in for you here okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you gemini So the card says, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So you are making your way towards real love. There is an energy of stepping into an emotionally fulfilling new beginning. And it is one that will be a long lasting relationship. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Gemini. So the card says past life relationship. You have known each other before. So there's definitely an energy of moving on from a karmic situation. That situation was meant to teach you something. We also have the six of cups, which also shows past life connections. There is some sort of spiritual lesson that has been learned and it is leading you towards your real fulfillment. You could have dealt with someone who was something like a counterfeit soulmate. You're being guided towards your true um, soulmate. There is an energy of something was there to teach you a lesson, to help you see what you deserve and to go for it because you are a vibrational match to a real committed um, relationship here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Gemini. Okay, so the card says honeysuckle, domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will win thee in my arms. So doth the woodbine, the honeysuckle gently in twist. So there's definitely an energy of you are moving towards um, the person you could end up marrying, someone who you can have domestic bliss with. Um, this is someone who will make you feel safe and happy. We have the sun card there as well. It's like you're finally moving into a more prosperous period in your love life and this next person is going to be the real deal okay so that's what i'm seeing for you gemini i hope you have a really really good day gemini bye gemini